Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today we're gonna be making something that's going to help us with our hair growth journey. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos about curly hair, skin care, fashion, makeup, whatever it may be. We have a lot going on here on Bianca Renee today. But I did challenge my subscribers this year to see how long we can get your hair to grow in one year. So this whole year, I'm gonna be making videos on hair growth tips and we're gonna try different things to see how long we can get these curls to grow. So today's video is going to be a DIY project to help keep track of how long our hair is growing each month by making our very own DIY length check t-shirts. Now, yes, you could buy these on Amazon. They're like 20, 25 bucks, but I read the reviews and some people got shirts with lines on the front. Like, that's not gonna work, so there was like some errors and I don't know, I thought it'd be more fun for us to just make it ourselves for a lot cheaper. Now all you're going to need is a t-shirt. I don't think you should get one that is black or any type of dark colors. You wanna be able to really see the contrast of your hair to the shirt. So if you're blonde, don't get a yellow shirt. If your hair is black, don't get a black shirt. But you know, white is just a safe color to go with. I got this one for like $5 at Walmart. And you also wanna make sure you get a shirt that's not going to shrink in the washer. I tried that with my rice water rinse video. And I think every time I wash that shirt, it was getting a little bit smaller because my lines were getting smaller. So just get like a normal cotton t-shirt to make this shirt. So let's get started on the back of the t-shirt and I'm gonna grab my 2019 calendar actually to put inside the shirt. That way you have a nice flat smooth surface to draw your lines and you won't have any bleeding through the shirt from the Sharpie. So once you get some type of cardboard or magazine or something in there, we're ready to begin. For our supplies, all you need is a Sharpie a ruler and a pen. Starting at the very top of your t-shirt, you're gonna put your ruler right in the middle and we're gonna use our pen to mark every inch. So just go down from one inch to two to three to four and make a little dot and that's where we're going to draw our line to make sure each line is even. Do this all the way till you get to the bottom of your shirt. Now we're gonna grab our ruler. We're gonna line it up with the dot, grab your Sharpie and then just draw a straight line across. lines all the way down the t-shirt and then go on the side of the lines and add numbers so you know what inch number you're at. So start from one and number all the way down. I was able to get to number 23 and we're going to see what line our hair starts at and where it ends at the end of the year. Ta-da! Easy as that. I can't wait to have like a legit log of how long my hair has grown. Now for those of you that just did an extreme big chop, you might be at a point where your hair doesn't even touch your neck yet. So you might not need this shirt just yet, but don't freak out, you're gonna get there. One of the greatest days you're gonna have is that day where you could put your hair up into a ponytail again. I was so excited after my extreme cut that was like at my chin to be able to put my hair up again. So that's gonna be an exciting moment. I still want you to keep track and take pictures of the back of your head every month and you'll see it getting longer and longer and longer getting closer to your t-shirt. So now let me show you where my hair is right now. I'll be honest, I got a size medium and kind of forgot that I was pregnant. So this shirt is stretched over my body. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't thinking. So the baby will be here by the end of next month. So hopefully this shirt fits me better. So sorry that my lines are a little distorted and a little hard to reach, but this is where my hair is now right around line 10. And then when I pull a piece of hair all the way down, my hair's true length is actually all the way down to line 17. Be mindful not to have your head tilted all the way back or looking down at the floor. Just make sure your head is looking straight ahead, that way you get an accurate length check. So from now on, every month, I want you to take two pictures, maybe three. The first picture is gonna be your hair just wet out the shower, freshly washed, elongated, and just to see where your hair naturally falls right out the shower. The second picture I want you to take is you pulling a strand down and seeing your actual length of your hair. And then if you wanna take a third picture out of curiosity, you could take a picture in the shirt when your hair is dry and style it so you can see how your hair looks 
when it's dry. So you have a wet photo, a pulled stretched photo, and a dry photo. So now that you have your length check shirt ready to go, let me tell you what we're not gonna do in 2020. And that is straighten our hair to do a length check. This is like my personal pet peeve and makes no sense to me. Why would you risk any type of heat damage just to see your progress of not having heat in your hair? <sighs> I don't get it. Doing all this progress and then doing something that can literally ruin your progress to check your progress doesn't make any sense to me. So if you want to check the length of your curls, all you gotta do is grab a piece and pull it down. And this is how we are checking our length. How long did this take me? Let's time it. One, yeah, one second. How long does it take to straighten your hair? I rest my case. With this t-shirt, I do not want you to abuse its power. This is strictly just out of a curiosity type of reference and you're only gonna check once a month. Don't check every day. Don't check every week. You're gonna drive yourself crazy. You're gonna be like, oh, same length, oh, same length. And you're just, you're gonna get stressed out. If you get stressed out, your hair's not gonna grow at all. So don't stress out during this challenge because it's supposed to be fun. So let's try to keep track of our shirts. Let's not really wash it, damage it, or lose it because this is gonna be how we keep track all year long. So now you are ready to go. Go find your t-shirt or go buy a t-shirt. Make this as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your photos of January 2020 that you're gonna take like today or this week. And then I want you to take another picture in December 2020. I'm gonna see all of the progress that you curly people have made. If you wanna join my hair growth challenge, make sure you watch my previous video and leave a comment there to accept the hair growth challenge. If you're planning on making your own DIY link check t-shirt, give this video a thumbs up and comment below. I also want you guys to subscribe with the little bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. Next week we're gonna be talking about some more tips and tricks on hair growth, maybe gummies, vitamins, oils, we'll see. But every week you're gonna get a little something something to help you with your progress. Make sure to also keep up with me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. You'll get curly hair tips there way quicker than you will on YouTube because it's an everyday thing. So follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Yeah.